What are you doing? What's going on everyone? In today's video we are going to be testing the new drop rate and the Outriders. Uh, I've been trying to get my uh, car reset for a very long time. Um, let me see how many hours. See if I can pull up how many hours I've actually been playing this character. And I cannot seem to find... Um, maybe if I take it back to... Back to lobby. See something. Characters. I wonder there's a way to see how many hours you actually log in per character, but there isn't. Yeah, there's no, I don't know, there's no way for you to check how many hours you logged in into per character. But I can tell you this right now, I'll probably put in about 150 hours trying to look for the Akari set. And I cannot seem to find it, so it's very, very hard. But, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the uh, new drop rate, see if it actually allows me to find the Akari set. We'll see if it works. All right, so we're gonna jump into. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a look, and see what we what we're rocking first. So obviously the helm I purchased from Tiago, so it's not something that I found in the world. So, but yeah. Okay, so we use in uh, fire tsunami to increase the firewall and uh, phaser beam size matters, which increases the radius by 100%. Uh, we also using uh, the battlefields uh, surgeon uniform uh, with anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and status power. And the mods is twice as hot, uh, twice as hot, dying breath to keep us alive. Basically, when you health build falls below thirty percent, everyone within a ten meter radius will start burning. And uh, anomaly power on our, um, our pants, which is um, what you need for this build. Uh, status power and cooldown reduction. We burned out and uh, volcanic armor. Uh, phaser beams increase our damage, uh, anomaly damage by 65% uh, percent and our weapon damage by 65% um, when active. So we gain pretty much reduced uh, income and damage um, when we use phaser beam. So we're definitely going to need that. <clears throat> For the gloves, we're using anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and status. Uh, and they're both maxed out. We tied away, which we get an additional uh, heat wave and uh, untamed power, which is one of the most used um, mods in the game. For the boots, nothing special. Anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and status. And we use in frequent phaser, which reduces the cooldown reduction by 30%. And then bullet kindling, which is our next mod. And um, that's what we're using for our skill. It's gonna it's gonna be heat wave, uh, six point one seconds. And uh, we're using uh, thermal bomb. And uh, we're using the uh, phaser beam, right? So uh, five point eight seconds on a uh, phaser beam. That's really good. This is our uh, class tree right now. So we're using got uh, magma gauntlet for ten percent health. We're using warm up to basically reduce our cooldown reduction. Uh, of uh, ignite skills, we use a magma golem here. Then we went down to wild by fire to reduce the ten percent of skills cooldowns on pretty much all school all skills. And gifted increased weapon damage and anomaly damage by five percent. 
we use Arch Maze for increased anomaly power. And this one to ignite to reduce the cooldown reduction of our, um, uh, what should I call it, um, uh, thermal bomb. And then we take over here, meltdown with the all enemies burning. Effect that we burn receive an additional 20% damage. And then magma golem. I like this one because after the burn, it the enemies are pretty much immobile, so it kind of helps you survive. And this one too, increase resistance by 20%. So instead of you know, go into this. I'd have preferred to get more survivability. Magma Golan again. And then we choose uh, increase anomaly power by 2.5% for every Magma Golan. So it's in about 10%, something like that. Um, some Life Leech. Magma Golan again. Some Life Leech again. And then this one, which is a, a, uh, activate Ignite skills. Um, increases our armor by 40% for 10 seconds since we're going to be um, constantly firing our heat wave and constantly firing our thermal bomb uh, we're going to have this pretty much all the time and then over here we got a uh, double life leech to well below 30% and we got some more uh, cooldown reduction on ignite and um, activating ignite um, skills uh, will increase our armor piercing by 45% and our resistance piercing by 45% 10 seconds so that's what we have going on right now unfortunately i cannot clear uh, i can't clear t uh, t15s um but you know it's like um it, it, it's very challenging for me to do it so i gotta do it into 13s until we unlock it so Let's see how we do